How are you doing? Home Studio Reacts and this is destroying 19th century history with bad translation. This is by Chan Star Harv. Yes, this is like another bad translation video from Star Harv. This is the one I was, you know, hoping for a long time. Napoleonic War. I hope he appears in Napoleonic War, right? Fingers crossed, because that's what I want to know. Yeah, I, I want to see what kind of impact he has in Napoleonic Wars. Yeah, we already seen like Roman one and modern world wars, basically Cold War. And now the Napoleonic War, so it's gonna be epic. Uh, you know, as a history piece, I love Napoleonic Wars as a history event. I did the Epic History, uh, Epic History TV series on it, which was like long. It was like, yeah, it was really insane to you know feel all the Napoleonic Wars and how Napoleon operated, like how genius and how OP he was, I guess. So yeah, what kind of an impact he will have here is gonna be awesome. Let's watch it. Remember people, if you like my reaction, don't forget to like and subscribe. That way you can help this channel by, you know, uh, boosting algorithm, I guess. More people can see this on their recommended feed or something. So yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe. And yeah, let's watch it. I took Wikipedia's timeline of the 19th century and ran it through Google Translate using languages with the worst translation quality. This was the result. 1801. Alexander Hamilton marched that night with the Confederate Army to New York City for the news. New York is that dangerous that they need an army just to get a newspaper. The Second World War in Latin and French by Aboukir. 1802, the Franco-British alliance ended after World War II. It was written by Ludwig happening. van Beethoven months ago. 1803, the war between England and France was again carried on. Then he yes, returned yes, to the Napoleonic Wars. Yes! <laughs> William Symington. It's like, what, like 40 seconds in, like, third news, and he, you know, entered the Napoleonic War or whatever. What is it, he? He returned to the Napoleonic War. Okay. <laughs> so he was already there. Then he returned return. to the Napoleonic Wars. William Symington described the Charlotte Dunn as the first working ship. <laughs> it's about Everything time. Sucked. When France bought the Louisiana Territory in North America, it was nearly twice the size of the United States. The Pacific Ocean, later called Destiny, reached the western parts of the United States, and also includes the United States and Mexico. Well, Destiny, <laughs> when was Japanese? it called Destiny? I must have missed that. Japanese Destiny was 1804. Accordingly, the steam engine was first used. I take morphine. There you go. <laughs> okay. Ba I like that he has made this like a whole thing, right? Like he has just this, you know, cut out image type of like muscular guy type of image. Great. And there's like narrator thing is like Robert Downey Jr. Whenever he talks about like a narrator just talking like, I did this, you know, I took morphine or something like that. It's like Robert Downey Jr. So that's the face of the narrator, I guess. That's what I'm thinking. Whoever basically wrote this history, right? Narrator is Star Har. But the person who wrote the history page or something is like Robert Downey Jr. <laughs> Irvin's Eroica Third Symphony marks the beginning of the Middle Ages. Wow. <laughs> 1805, Game 3 in France. <laughs> 1806, Napoleon named his brother King of Naples. It was given to him by Joseph Bonaparte, the brother of Louis Bonaparte, King of Belgium. 1807, UK, US attacks Slavic trade. The Treaty of Tilsit sent Napoleon into Eastern Europe. He became the last player of Borussia. Leaving Copenhagen, he took the ships of the Danish fleet. Humphrey Davy. I love how he's like, like God level OP here from the start. Like, okay, I guess he could have. <laughs> I guess he could have just taken sip as like normally, like how you read it and basically steal it. But I'm imagining just the way he just animated it. Literally took like, basically like Superman, grabbed the ship and flew away or something. Back to his like, you know, OP shit here. Like he was, I'm pretty sure it was like, what is it? Cold War, right? In Cold War, it was that level of OP. Flying to the moon and shit. Flying all the way to Jupiter. It destroyed potassium and sodium. Just, they're just gone. The elements are gone. <laughs> 1808, the Gulf War participated 1809 napoleon accepted his son as pope roman empire <laughs> every time it's rome pope pius captured napoleon and bound him to the river air 1810 he took the floor he's doing like a dance routine 1812 britain has many economic problems true 
it was a bad year for Rade's party. <laughs> End of Napoleonic Wars, so I guess that's why Britain has like bad economy something because they sunk a lot of like resource into that shit. K- kind of makes sense. 1814, Elisha Collier founded the Rolling Stones. 1815, Europe can consolidate its power and strength at the Vienna Conference. The European side is trying to find out if this is true or not. <laughs> Probably not. Liberal forces and government have changed for the better. In 1914, peace began in England. A hundred days later, Napoleon won the Battle of Waterloo. Mm. Victory at the end of the Napoleonic Wars. He won. <laughs> GG. He's won. <laughs> 1816. America. Yep. See, I knew it. I knew all along. All the history we taught is like just wrong. Look at how bad as Napoleon was. How the fuck would he basically get defeated? That didn't happen. He definitely won. And he just created this kind of stigma and this like, he's the now, you know, Illuminati and shit. He's still alive. That's what it is. He never was American defeated. American freedom, not a DJ. <laughs> just in case you thought he was. 1817, a legal battle began in Florida. Prince Charles died shortly after his birthday. Oh, God. <laughs> Damn. So we have an alien right now, is that it? 1818, Mary Shelley tells the story of Frankenstein. Pure freedom. 1821, destruction of Turks in Navarre. 1823, after the Anglo-Burmese War, the British occupied Burma, now Africa. 1825, aluminum pipe. This is the third day of December in Russia. It's the whole year. <laughs> okay, what's so great happening this year? Nothing much, but just fucking aluminum pipe. There you go. That's the whole summary of this year. 1826. After the last Russo-Persian War, Russia defeated the Persian Empire. Who will lose the game first? Persia. That's the answer. <laughs> extermination was banned in Ottoman Germany. Now, if anybody knows extermination, it's Ottomans and Germans. 1828, the Tasmanian War darkens Tasmania. (laughs) Prime Minister Robert Peel decided to deny the freedoms of religion to British citizens, saying that the protections were weak. 1829, who invented the first... (laughs) Okay. (laughs) He denies all these religious things and says the protection were weak. So basically, like, if protection was strong, I wouldn't have been able to do that. So I blame protections. That's why I did this. It's all protection's fault. They were weak. Best electric car. Who done it? Is it the second <laughs> Benz? Who war Benz? between Russia and Turkey? <laughs> Is it? 1830. Congress passed the Secession Act, which allowed Mesopotamian leaders east of the Mississippi to make peace with the natives. Damn, Are there any Mesopotamian leaders east of the Mississippi? <laughs> Greater Columbia. <laughs> That's a photo in Mississippi River. Oh, for God's sake. It's like reality is warped around this time. It was opened and the District of Columbia was replaced by the District of Columbia, now Panama. Ecuador and Venezuela? Question mark. You tell me. In November, Poland rebelled against Russia. These are not. I told him about the last battle that took place in Yogyakarta and Sakata. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> narrator and he uh, basically you know met for the first time or some shit interview for something you know or basically you know under parking you know underground parking lot with jacket and helmet you know not hat and thing and say um, i have something to tell you about yokata and sukata or something <laughs> 1831 two days after the terrorist attack on nathaniel and his associates in Southampton, Virginia, <laughs> on the August 22nd. Charles Darwin's Greyhound oh, mission. Oh, oh, oh. Dog. The <laughs> Why is this so funny, man? <laughs> it's like terrorists of big words for some one guy, basically. So he got bullied in school and he's calling it terrorist attack or some shit. Look at that. Two days after the terrorist attack on Nathaniel and his associate. Was Nathaniel, I don't know, he was like a high school student or something. His associate just punks, some punks doing drugs or something. That's what's attack on about. Nathaniel <laughs> and his associates in Southampton, Virginia on the August 22nd. Charles Darwin's Greyhound mission. Dog. The Gauls attacked the Albans. Capodistra, the first king of late. Greece, was killed by Napoleon. Didn't he, didn't he die? <laughs> Did he, he die? 
Cherokee Sheriff John Ross is Cherokee and Irish George in America. <laughs> he did one of those like 23 and Mays. He just found out. He defended the rights and freedom of the Cherokee in the Supreme Court in 1830, where five million Irish died. State of America. <laughs> 1833. Did, did he kill all those Irish to prove a point or something? Yeah, and he went to Supreme Court, basically threatened all them. Like, I'm going to threaten your freedom to defend these people's freedom, basically. That's how it works. Slavery was abolished in England. Thanks be to God. 1834. Okay. He became a prisoner under British law. <laughs> what did he do? Who knows? 1836, when Samuel Colt approached... I mean, around this time, what did he do is like not that big of a thing. I don't know. To try to be more overpowered, I guess, than king or something. King, queen, whatever that was. That's enough of a crime for me. Put him in jail. ...the woman and pulled a gun. Colt Patterson said nothing and shot her six times. Damn, <laughs> Instead of inventing the revolver or popularizing the revolver, he just shot a woman with it. <laughs> Why do you think he invented the gun? He's a psychopath. That's what he want to do. Oh, oh, thank, thank you for you know creating a better defensive weapon for the you know defense of this country and future of this country. Like, huh? No, I just wanted to shoot some people. Oh, there you go. 1837, to the people. Queen Victoria was the most powerful monarch in England. Complete. Money is an intellectual property. Don't be copyright infringing on my money. 1838. Guatemala, El Salvador, Honduras, Nicaragua, and Costa Rica fought each other during the American Civil War. Now that is an American Civil War. 1830. <laughs> so I guess... <laughs> It's like, you know, that some fucked up family whose like parents are fighting and suddenly the, their children is also like, you know, having influence on them just starts to fight each other just cause. That's how it is. Like American Civil War is happening. It's like, oh, we should do something as well. And they start to fight each other. In nine, France, after the first and second opium wars, the Qing dynasty destroyed England. Damn. Just <laughs> the United States and Russia have agreed on trade and concessions with China. China won so well. It's like amazing. <laughs> 1841, Richard Turner. I think United States and Russia agreed just because they destroyed England. They're like, yeah, we agree with that. We'll give you free shit. It's <laughs> the word dinosaur into a word for Owen. <laughs> Who's Owen? William Henry Harrison, the first president of the United States, died. 1844, the grandfather meets Perseus and tells the king why. <laughs> Why? <laughs> what God has revealed to the world? Yeah, some intention is happening there, like some conspiracy or something. He he is considered the leader of the Baha'u'llah and the founder of the Baha'i faith. But what is that? Nice. Thousands of what people are waiting for the coming of Jesus Christ. His recovery was called the Great Depression. On May 24th, <laughs> the world's first telegraph... <laughs> His recovery is the Great Depression. Huh? Some, somehow that tracks. The level of like biblical scale things he does, like that's up, that about right. His whole thing was the... <laughs> Between East Timor and the United States. Where else would the world's first telegraph be? What is God doing? All good things. <laughs> <laughs> Where's this conversation? It's a very like Christian faith to this article. Nautilus is here. <laughs> Mr. Wang signed an agreement between the United States and China. Who's Mr. Wang? <laughs> 1846, Oregon there, is the United States. Oregon signed the Treaty of Vienna. Parts of Idaho and Wyoming and Montana ceded to the United States. Yeah, Oregon's like, fuck US, I'm the US. I'm going to make all the decisions for this thing. It's all Oregon now. Yeah. After the Mexican-American War, Wilmot was criticized in the West for ending slavery. <laughs> 1847, Samuel Wise told Inak to wash his hands so he wouldn't be questioned. <laughs> what kind of questions are going on here? Yeah, what was on his hand? What's he got on his what hands? question? Yeah. John <laughs> of the Air wrote the Bronte Sisters. <laughs> 1848, it can be found in the communist language. In 1848, what? something new happened in Europe. Good people <laughs> run away. What happened? Why wouldn't they tell oh, us? Oh. 
1849, the first... 1848, what could it be? Uh, yeah, but I just Googled it over Bismarck. Around, isn't it around this time, like, Bismarck was the one, like, you know, plotting shit, right? Bismarck always has a plan, right? I'm pretty sure this is the around time where he was, like, doing his shit. So that, good people are not basically, this, this is foreshadowing. Bismarck is going to create Germany. Germany is going to intensify World War I. The World War I is going to cause World War II and all the shit that we know of. But I guess that's what, that's what that meant. Air mission was launched with 200 missiles on a message to the Vulcan Air Force. <laughs> the Constitution of the Roman Republic was the first law which established the death penalty. The first amendment to the Roman Republic Constitution, death. There are seat belts and airbags. Nice. Volvo. <laughs> 1850, the Ice Age is over. <laughs> 1851, Australia. 1854, move to avoid wires and light. <laughs> 1856, the first oil was produced in Romania. Neand yeah, I'm guessing the wire thing is like they didn't have like insulation by this point. Oh 1854, move to avoid wires and light. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> There is no insulation, I'm guessing. <laughs> 1856. The first oil was produced in Romania. Neanderthals know the time. <laughs> 1857. The Indian Rebellion of 1857. British Empire closes the East. Joseph Whitworth invented the first gun. What about the gun that was used to shoot the woman? What was that? <laughs> the origin of seeds, Charles Darwin. Is that real? No, <laughs> it's origin of species, but it's just about seeds. How do seeds work? 1861, the American Civil War between the Confederate and Confederate armies. Wow. <laughs> 1860. <laughs> I wouldn't put that past them. <laughs> Confederates fighting. Okay, you know why Union? Just stay there. We'll, we'll get to you. We'll get to We need to figure our shit out first. Like, what, what is our primary goal? 62, it was done with horses. <laughs> France is the first country in South Asia. 1863. The yeah, but isn't that like the... What is that country? Uh, in south... Basically Indian Ocean, right? South of India. There's like an island, which is like considered like mainland France. Basically all of like France's overseas territory is considered mainland France, right? And I'm pretty sure that's the longest in-country uh, flight from that place to France. That's what it's considered. I guess that's what they're talking about. Like that's, you know, yeah. President of the United States, Abraham Lincoln, declared his independence on September 22nd. He's, he's gone. Duong Maltese. <laughs> Mr. President, you're gonna, you're gonna free all these people. Free all these people. The fuck you on about? I'm free. Deuces. <laughs> Just fly away on a helicopter. <laughs> Grass Day painting is truly amazing. All right. <laughs> 1864, March 21st. Liar. The... Chincha War was an attempt to invade the American colonies of southern Spain. Spain has lost so bad that they're now being colonized. <laughs> 1865, America reinvents itself. <laughs> 1866, after the Prussian Austrian. He should have used that, you know, the Apple <laughs> 2008 thing, right? Uh, who's this fucking leader? I forgot his name. Right? The, the, the iPhone guy, right? He should have, like, used this, like, meme conference thing with the glasses. We have reinvented USA. Everybody just claps. In war, the German alliance collapsed, leaving Germany in the north and Hungary in the south. 1867. <laughs> Alfred Nobel <laughs> is the inventor of sulfur. He just invented sulfur. Isn't that naturally occurring? Can he claim this? In 1878, he traveled around the world. <laughs> 1868. Congrats. I like how like, he wasn't mentioned for a good enough time. And now like, I'm in vacation. I'm just traveling the world. Could you do this? Nah, 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 man. I'm on vacation. I'm not taking sights. Because there's way, way too many shit is going to happen in the future. I'm going to be needed there. Congratulations. The famous Cro-Magnons. Where is Cro-Magnons? No, it's Cro-Magnons now. <laughs> Don't you know about the famous Cro-Magnons? 1870. The Franco-Prussian War unites Germany and Italy. Both kingdoms fell in Gaul. The Hansen ball was designed by Rasmus Mulling Hansen and was the first commercial ball. <laughs> what? <laughs> they didn't have balls before that. 
1871, <laughs> Otto von Bismarck challenged the interest of the Catholic Church during the Civil War in Germany. Okay. Industrial Revolution 2, finally. Japan's feudal system. This is Bismarck was insane. That series from uh, history, mm, extra history, extra credits. That series was insane. Bismarck always has a plan. Extra credits is like great channel. You know, there's way too many, you know, story, st historical events, basically. That's just the, the way they capture it is just awesome. And I still remember Bismarck one. All, you know, all the images there. Bismarck always has a, has a plan. That's just insane. Some collapsed. Henry Morton meets Stanley David. Lake Tangika is home to crocodiles. Nice. In 1873, the panic began. You can see yellow and blue shirts. True. The German <laughs> war began in the blood of... Hey, was that? Is it golden and... What's the dress thing? Is it gold or is it dark, or black and blue or something like that? This is some war like that? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> it's violent. It's like Elden Ring law. 1876. Queen Victoria became Miss India. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Richard Wagner's ring is the first sacred ring. Henry McCarthy, later Billy the Kid, kills Franklin <laughs> Calhill, the first black man. Damn. The largest train Damn. station in the United States. Dead horse. <laughs> I believe the kid going to start a trend right now that's going to carry all the way to the future. And everybody's going to be like this. I'm going to start this. What you going to do? I'm going to shoot the first beep. <laughs> This is insane. The largest train station in the United States. He was the first Dead racist, horse. apparently. <laughs> Asphalt Monday is shown on Tuesday. <laughs> what is Asphalt Monday? <laughs> Happy Asphalt Monday, everyone. Every other day you take that road. 1879, Belgium was involved in the political conflict that led to World War I. True. 1881, pig. Alexander the Great died. The destruction of the <laughs> Russian Empire has begun. Enjoy Shambhad Guria de Toro. Three Deep and a Tank were discovered in Godalming, England. What is Three Deep and a Tank? Sounds like a sitcom. <laughs> I mean, his name is Deep? From the boys, what is his, his name is Deep? He's like supposed to be like Aquaman, uh, so, you know, that parody, right? Yeah, it's something like that. It's, it's God, the boys is too good, man. Right? Like, that's like, what if all this superhero was like in real life, how they'd be treated, how assholely they would be? Deep being all that, like, you know, having scandal about, you know, forcing women, this and that. That, that, that show is insane. It's like, you know, parody, but at the same time, it's just like, that's realistic. 1883, the hat is ready. Krakatoa is the largest volcano in the world and the tallest tower built by Thomas Edison. He's yeah, taking credit he's, for Krakatoa yeah. now. <laughs> <Eight. laughs> I did the I, I, I Krakatoa. It was before you were born. Like that doesn't matter. I also made time machine. 1884, the effectiveness of the Berlin Wall appears. The European slave trade was encouraged abroad. The first electric car was built by Tom. <laughs> European slave trade was encouraged abroad. I'm guessing Americans basically. Yeah, Europe, you, you go. <laughs> Slave trade was encouraged abroad. The first electric car was built by Thomas Parker in Wolverhampton. Nice. Hera Maxis was the first man to write machine music. What is machine music? EDM. Do you listen to machine music at all? <laughs> the singer began to beat the table and his clothes loudly. Okay, no, it wasn't. 1886. This. I'm imagining taking his shirt out and just banging against the table. This being all, <laughs> all the drilling and it's just going Statue on. Statue of Liberty was created by Coca-Cola Java. <laughs> I'm not having this Makes sense. misinformation. <laughs> 1889, the mail in case. Prince Rudolf and Baroness Marie of Austria. In this story, the old man is killed. What a good story. <laughs> 1890. Who are we going to blame? That old man. Like, what? You only have a few years to live and just take out the gun. <laughs> Today, salt is distributed through Europe and America. I still use the electric chair. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> okay. Randomly uh, at people. Vincent van Gogh died. Oh, sorry. 
Hey, hey, come here. You want to use, you want to check out my chair? Is that a new thing? It's definitely different from you used to. Come here. Let me, let me screw all this shit. Wait, Vincent Van Gogh <laughs> died. Anything. I saw in the box. <laughs> After the overthrow of Kaiser Wilhelm, German President Otto von Bismarck made a policy that opposed Bismarck's ideas and policies. 1891. <laughs> I guess he had a depression. The World War One was his fault or something. I don't know. Leo the Thirteenth, Pontifus Maximus, Apostle of God, Defender of the First Fair Society. 1892, Football Stadium. Fingerprint recognition is first used. What is your name? What is it? Tell me. 1892, your really? What's your mother's maiden name? <laughs> 1895, dated in Japan during the First Sino-Japanese War. F. 1896, the Athen Olympic Games are approaching. Henry Becquerel and Marie Curie are known. J.J. Thompson does not have an email address. If you wanted to get in touch, I'm sorry. <laughs> 1897. In 1893, his life ended in a violent attack. <laughs> <laughs> He's always dying. Until yeah. like, well... Oh, no, he died. Who gives a fuck? He's going to be up walking around and just five minutes later, hey, baby, how are you going? <laughs> World War II, he was dying constantly. And then he just yeah. like... It must have enabled God mode or something. 1898. No, I... you can't have God mode because in God mode you can't die. He is dying, but he's just getting resurrected. He's like, psych, I'm here. I also saw Zeppelin LZ. Boxing of the new Chinese. Millennium War begins between liberals and conservatives in Colombia. That's <laughs> The <miserable>. emperor <laughs> intended to rule China for 11 days. 12, Herbert Wells like... declares World War II. <laughs> It's, it's on now, boys. <laughs> How come he's allowed to do that? 1899, British victory. I could see. Yo, yo, boys, yo, boys. Check this out. Check this shit out. I declare World War II. What is that? It's like the greatest shit ever. A hundred million people are going to die. It's sick. <laughs> Sum up there. 1800 is pretty simple. More than a million people died in Indiana. Damn. 1900. Just by being Humbert, born there. King of Italy. He invaded the eight lands of China and took the fields. <laughs> That's it. That's the last thing that happened. Wow. Famine. <laughs> Interviewing all these Chinese, like, what happened? Crops died? Uh, you know, just, there, there were like, you know, some kind of a plague or something. No, no, crops literally disappeared. Like, there's literally dirt now. Somebody literally took our crops. Okay. There you go. Famine is here. <sighs> right, well, that was... <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I wanted more he and Napoleon thing, but I guess it wasn't there. Right? <laughs> but I'm not going to lie. He's like... Every of these bad translations is like getting better and better. I'm guessing it's like translating back and forth between multiple languages. Because I'm pretty sure he said it in one of the previous videos how, how he's doing it. And it's just like much a long process. He cuts out certain things in the bracket. He like translates in a different way with different softwares. Man, he has some great thing going here, man. He should definitely continue this. He should go by, you know, I, I think he's like uh, just going through the whole period way too fast. It's like entire 19th century, entire 20th century, entire modern history. This way he'll be like out of ideas. He should like specifically go like some war, like let's just say Vietnam War and go detail about Vietnam War even by months, who cares, right? Napoleonic war rather than the entire 19th century. I mean, it's not like, I mean, he can specify in the future, like he already did modern war, but he can specifically do like Afghanistan war or Iraq war or something, Vietnam too, even though he did Cold War. He can go in detail, right? The ideas are like endless. Wikipedia is endless, so you can do that. All right, well, uh, if you like my reaction, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, that way I know which type of videos to react to more and, you know, you'll be helping this channel by, you know, helping the algorithm, I guess. Uh, and, you know, if you want to recommend any video you want me to react to, comment down. And yeah, check out the end card for the other Star Hall reactions that I did. Or, you know, check out the link in the season. And I'll see you next time.